Coming up next is DC News number 138. We're going to go around the DC universe and we're going to talk about the Trinity of Sin. It's the big crossover this summer. We're going to talk about some of the books that are going to lead you up into it. We're also going to cover the new Plastic Man project that Gail Simone and Ethan Van Skyver are working on. We're also going to cover Joe Quinones' Zantana Black Canary project, which is also getting ready to pop out and come your way. And we're going to wrap things up with a return to Astro City because Astro City is returning. All that and more coming right up. Here at Alternate Reality, we have a first day sale. And in that first day sale, I pick seven books and I mark them at 40% off on the day they first come out. That's right, New Comic Day. And those Magnificent Seven are made up of four comics and three trade paperbacks. Now, that's every week here at the store, so be sure to stop down and save 40% off seven of the hottest new titles that are going to ship this week. DC Comic Book News. Bow and Comic Book Man Style. Hey, buffoonery is a style. Once bitten, twice shy. What if I bite you nine times? Does that rise to the level of mortified? <laughs> DC Comic Book News, episode 138. Bleakery Bakery. Hey folks, Comic Book Man here. Welcome once again to my video outhouse. Bo? Yes? Why are we here? It's DC News time. Is that a good reason for being here? It, it's the best reason we can come up with right now. Okay, we'll have to go with that then. DC News, which is coming to you from this place. Alternate Reality, which is located at the intersection of 111 to Kedzie, beautiful downtown Mount Greenwood. Alternate Reality, where all my new comics <laughs> are always 15 people. You okay? Every day for everyone. Take it, boy. Water. You okay? <laughs> Take it. Okay, folks. <coughs> DC's going to launch a brand new book in June called Trinity of Sin Pandora. <laughs> It'll be written by Ray Fox, who's been awfully busy at DC. It's like the third thing he's working on. Ray he's Fox, isn't that V for Vendetta? No, that's oh, it's Guy, Guy Fox. It's Guy Fox Day, and Guy Fox has been dead for years. Okay. Uh, and Daniel Semper, it'll be it's it's gonna involve Pandora, the woman who created the new 52 universe. Yes. Now, Phantom Stranger will be renamed to Trinity <laughs> of Sin Phantom Stranger when this hop shows up, and we are more than likely to, since we need the third part of the Trinity. We will see a Trinity of Sin, the question series, yes. which will set up the long-planned, often teased, and apparently, from according to rumors, heavily often rewritten Trinity War crossover, which is going to happen uh, this summer, which yes. will be teased in DC's free comic book day offering. Yes, which is, of course, DC's big event for this summer, Trinity of Sin. They've been This is their first big mega crossover <laughs> event since the New 52, so and I'm it, sure it'll be wonderful. And in case you know, Pandora is not exactly sociable, so I'm assuming the book will involve her kicking people in the nuts and shooting them. Well, she shot Phantom Stranger in the head when the first and time. And that met. man she slept with. Uh, there you go. There you go. So what do you think she's going to do to you? Well, some guys get off on that. Anyway, uh, moving on. Uh, Gail Simone and Ethan Skyver, they're working on, of all things, a Plastic Man graphic novel series? Movie uh, series? They just said a Plastic Man project. I'm project. assuming it's a okay. graphic novel or a one-shot. I can't see them doing a monthly book, especially since Ben Skyver is more or less taking over uh, the Batman, the Dark Knight book. Of all the people to draw Plastic Man, Ethan Van Skyver, I'm not saying anything about his talent here, but Ethan Van Skyver is one of the last people I would think. He's, he has a very realistic style, which would seem to go against Plastic Man. No. No. C Cyber Frog. Cyber Frog. First time people know about Ethan Van Skyver was Cyber Frog, which was just goofy animal crap. And it was weird and it was loopy. Van Skyver back then was this guy who drew this goofy stuff that nobody gave a crap about. Then all of a sudden he started doing, then he did Green Lantern and people went, oh, he can draw stuff other than goofy. Cyber stuff. Frog, that was uh, Tops. That was, was Cyber, it? no, Cyber Frog was, a it was something he created all on his own. And uh, he was released in a couple of venues. He was actually self-published I think it was Tops Comics. Tops or... might have done it at some point, but he started out distributing it himself. And that's when people went, ooh. Now, we, we've been waiting for this thing for a while because it involves... Swamp Thing, who's going to be involved okay. in this stuff. Now, Plastic Man and Swamp Thing. Plastic there's, there's Man an odd and teaming. Swamp Thing. That's a weird team. Now, the, be, in the New 52, the deal with the New 52 was they had a new all new Swamp Thing book. Now, while Scott Snyder was working on Swamp Thing, they couldn't do anything with the character. Now that Scott Snyder's done and, and Swamp Thing's been around and the book is selling, he can be put in the series. And that's why the thing has been delayed all this time. Okay. Another another project, which, which I don't remember at all, but Bo tells me has been around, is a Zantana Black Canary graphic novel by Joe Quinones. Joe Quinones is drawing Quinones? it right now. It was written. It was written by. Paul I don't remember. D. I don't remember this. This we, is pre, we, this is pre New Fifty Two. We talked a lot. Yeah, we talked. I think it, no, it may have been right around the same time. We knew that Paul Dini was working on some kind of Batman thing, and he had mentioned he was going to do a Zantana Black Canary thing okay. around the time that his Zantana book got canceled. Uh, this is going to be coming relatively soon. Quinones was relatively not, soon. Well, it'll be out. It'll be out in the next six to eight months, which is relatively soon as far as comics are concerned. Relatively soon. He said relatively again. Relatively soon. It'll be out soon <laughs> because Quinones was not the original artist on the book. Yes. And the new fifty-two, as it did with the 
Plastic Man limited series uh, project changed everything because everything became different. The new 52 came out. And, oh my God, what are we going to do? This isn't the same Zatanna Black Canary, although they look exactly the same in the new 52, so I don't really know what the big deal is all about. No. Maybe it was Lesh Fishnets. Okay, and our last story involves, of all things, a former Wildstorm book. Not that it should be a big surprise we're talking about the New 52, which is essentially the Wildstorm universe. But one of the things we haven't seen in the New 52, which we haven't seen at Wildstorm was a while, with Kurt Busiek's Astro City, which is coming back. It's coming back in June. It'll still be drawn by Brent Anderson. It is not part of the New 52. Nope. There will be no crossovers between that and the New 52. He'll explain more about Astro City, and the reason we haven't seen Astro City for a while is yes. because Kurt Busiek's health was very, very bad. He had gallbladder issues, severe gallbladder issues. He's now healed up. He's fine because I think he, he said while he was working on stuff, he was able to work on things like Avengers. He was able to work on you know the, the 52 books and Countdown, stuff like that, because it wasn't as intensive to work on as far as writing Astro City. Now that he's healthy, he can sit there and he can work on an Astro City script and not have to get up and throw up in the middle of it, which sort of throws your rhythm off if you're working on something. And, you know, when you're reading Astro City, you can pretty much tell at the points where he throws up. Mm-hmm. So, I mean, you know. And, of course, Alex Ross will still be doing the covers. Well, good. Glad to hear it. Glad to hear he's still getting work. <laughs> he is Alex Ross. <laughs> well, you know. Alex Ross really has do. been in dynamite hell now for like three years. Really Ever do. since DC said, well, you don't sell for us anymore. There's the door. Yeah. <laughs> so now he's wandering back into the fold because Busek said, all my covers, and sometimes issues will be inked by Alex Ross. Well, good. It's always good to see him get some work. And that's it. We're done. Finish her out of here. Got no more DC news. Go to Source website. Check out all the DC news this man sends me that I post up there. Bo? Yes? Where should they go? They should go to Astro City. I'm going. www.marlternetrally.com Is that the website? You're the boss. For now. So stop off at the store's website. Check out all his news. Until next time, this is me. And this is me as well. It's not me as well. I'm me. You're so you're oh. I'm me too. Oh me too. Okay. Saying Bye. We too. The video outhouse is brought to you by some of the finest people willing to work for free. This is a list of some of them. <laughs>